morning. Looking out to the west along I-94, we've got some areas with some, some puddles out there after storms rolled through a few hours ago last night. Now it's quieter in Fargo this morning. Uh, we got a little over half an inch of rain with that round that rumbled through and perhaps woke you up earlier than you would have liked. Uh, hopefully you were able to get back to sleep for at least a couple of hours. We do have other places that are getting woken up by some thunderstorms this morning. That's especially the case in the Northern Valley and out toward the West as well. Uh, we've got this uh, over a loop over the last hour and you can see the general movement is to move north uh, east toward Bemidji, at least in this part of the system. But this is all rotating around an area of low pressure. So we're getting some of these over by Jamestown and into the Cooperstown area that are moving from northeast to southwest so it really depends on where you are how this is how these showers and thunder showers are moving and how they'll impact you so we'll take a look at where the lightning is to this thunderstorm of course just southwest of Bemidji the stronger one of the storms that are affecting us right now so this is probably starting to wake you up in the Bemidji area you're seeing flashes of light and some rumbles of thunder and some heavy rain approaching with some gusty winds too this stretches back up into Clearwater County back over toward uh, Thief River Falls looks like we still have some lightning bolts in the vicinity a couple of showers well north of us here and that and that band up into the uh, Pembina County area and then back down into this main band some storms again this is moving to the southwest this part of the system so the Cooperstown area you're going to see more lightning moving in uh, to the region there and of course there's some rain in and around that region as well so some active weather going on here this morning all associated with that low and you can kind of see that swirl uh, made out here on the radar and satellite map and that low that's kind of right around around the North Dakota, South Dakota state line. That's going to move to the east. And as long as it's anywhere within the vicinity today, it's going to have some impacts on our weather, bringing us chances for some of these isolated showers and thunder showers throughout the day today. So be ready for that as you're getting ready to step out the door this morning. A quick look at our precipitation that we've received since midnight. A six tenths of an inch of rain in Fargo, close to a four tenths in Thief River Falls, Wapaton, close to that number two, a quarter of an inch in Detroit Lake. So there's some areas reporting some real rain here in the valley, Southern Valley specifically, Northern Valley. Unfortunately, uh, Thief River Falls is kind of one of the areas that we've uh, picked up the rain so far, uh, and that's it. I'm hoping we'll get to see more as this system continues to influence our weather today. You can see visibility is down in some areas too. We've got, of course, the rain affecting us, but there's also some fog out there. Langdon reporting zero visibility right now, so be aware that it's not ideal. Our temperatures are in the 60s to around 70 degrees, so warm here in the valley and we've got winds that are not too strong either up to 60 miles per hour in Halleck but most of us experiencing some pretty light wind. Here's a look at your hour by hour planner. We're looking at those showers, those thunder showers just continuing to swirl around the valley through the morning into the afternoon and cooler weather with cloudy skies too today. Temperatures only rising into the 70s for your highs. Eventually as we lose the sunshine today these will wind down and will start to quiet down for tonight. Tomorrow Tomorrow morning, starting off the day in the 50s and 60s, you can see some clouds still hanging around, but areas of sun too. And there is a chance for a little rain, but right now it doesn't look all that impressive. It may not be until Sunday where we see our next chance for some rain. So if you're making some plans to be outdoors this weekend, Saturday, may end up being your day. I would say definitely make sure you check back with us as uh, we get uh, into the day Saturday for any updates on that. Uh, into Sunday, a chance for some storms. Some of them could be strong to severe, and that continues into Monday morning. And next week, still some active weather. This is good because thunderstorms are scattered, so not everybody gets hit, and all of us could use the rain here in the valley. So hopefully everybody within the next week gets an opportunity to get a couple of good rains passing through. Sounds great. Thank you, Lisa. A new shop is opening its doors in downtown Fargo. We get an inside look at what they have to offer just ahead on the Valley Today.